Big John Jones versus Daniel Cormier. This is the fight that we're all waiting for right here. Bad blood, no love lost, whatever. So these two light heavyweights that will stop at nothing to get the W. Now we have never seen either of these guys give up. And I don't think this will be the time they'll do it either. This should be another five round war. We all saw how the last fight went. There were some excuses made, some valid arguments on both sides. But everyone knows that rematches are much more difficult for both fighters. Which is why many times the rematches don't live up to the height and generally are less exciting. The fighters know what to expect and have more respect for each other. So with that being said, I still think these guys are going to try and kill each other. But like John Jones said, he's going for the win. He's not trying to impress a crowd with a flashy finish. So anyway, to me, Jackson Wink puts together some of the most solid game plans in the business. I don't see this fight being any different. Apparently, John has been preparing for Daniel nonstop, at least mentally, since Daniel was crowned the new champion of the light heavyweight division. And John saying that Daniel is bringing nothing new to the game makes sense somewhat. I mean, like he says, Daniel doesn't have a new spinning back kick. He doesn't have any new submissions he can pull off while on his back. However, Daniel did appear to gas out somewhat in the first fight against Jones. So I think he can make better preparation for that, get in a little bit better shape. Plus, Daniel has been in two brutal wars against Johnson and Gustafsson. So I believe he may be able to bring, so I believe he may be a little bit better fighter than he was the first time he fought Jones. Now as for Jones, he appears to be a man on a mission, looking for a clean slate, a way to put the demons behind him, so to speak. And he believes beating Daniel Cormier and regaining the UFC light heavyweight title will give him this new life and this fresh start that he's looking for. Now to me, this is great for John, the man outside the ring. But I wonder if it will hinder his performance inside the ring. Like I said in a previous video, comparing John Jones to NBA great Dennis the Worm Rodman. Dennis was someone who played like he didn't care about anything. All he wanted to do was get the rebound. But he also would live a crazy life outside the ring. I mean, the night before a game, he'd be drunk, high, hooking up with Madonna or Carmen Electra or whatever, and jump into the game and just dominate the boards. Now, in my opinion, his recklessness and I don't give a fuck attitude had a lot to do with his success. Now, to me, I see a lot of the similarities with Dennis and John Jones. We all know about John's reputation as being a party guy outside the ring. Plus he had, and he may still have, that I don't give a fuck attitude. I mean, Vitor Belfort, the juiced up super TRT Vitor Belfort, had John in a super tight arm bar, and John never tapped. And if you look at his face, it looks like he had absolutely no intention of tapping. He would have let his arm snap. And I guess apparently to this day, John's arm is still messed up from that fight. So I wonder if this new John, this new John Jones, might not have the same meanness and the do or die attitude that he once had. Plus, there are those Daniel Cormier allegations that John may be a shot fighter. He might not be able to pull the trigger like he once could. I mean, we kind of saw that in the OSP fight. You know, um, obviously John didn't have the bad blood. He just wanted to get the win, wanted to get his feet wet back into the octagon, shake off some of the ring rust. I mean, he could be shot. At his age, I don't think so. He hasn't really taken a lot of punishment inside the ring. I know Daniel said nothing's free as party life the drugs, the alcohol may have caught up to him. But with all that being said, 
Man, I'm still going with John Jones to win this fight. I mean, both guys have incredible MMA records and resumes, but I think John's huge reach advantage and stamina will give him the decision. Unless the judges rob him, I mean, you always, I mean, John doesn't have that, that knockout, knock you cold power, and plus Daniel, he doesn't seem to go down. I mean, Anthony Johnson practically took his head off and he just came back, so. Uh, but you always have to wonder about the judges, man. I mean, John's outside the ring behavior, you have to wonder if it will allow the judges to consciously or subconsciously alter their cards to John's disadvantage. But anyways, I'm going with John Jones on this one. I think it's going to be a five-round war. I can't wait. But I think John Jones will pull it off. Thanks for listening. Take care.